What up, bro? What up, man? Today we're doing an unboxing. DJI mic, two wireless mics. You can use it with your phone, you can use it with your camera. It's actually got a built-in data, data, that's not the right word, that's like totally old school language. Built-in storage. So you can actually record audio straight to the device without needing a camera or an external device. So we're gonna jump in, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna see how we can use it, we're gonna see how it can level up our video production, especially when we're using our phones. All right, John, so you and me were talking about the fact that we are gonna be creating some little five minute marketing videos in the next few weeks. And so we were like, hey, what better excuse than to buy some new gear than another video idea? We're always looking for reasons to do that. So we picked up the DJI mic. Uh, DJI, you guys probably know them for their drones like the Mavic Pro, but they made a microphone and I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna read some specs that I thought were pretty cool here. There's 250 meters, which is 820 feet of range. That's pretty damn impressive in terms of how far you can be away. This is great for conferences, uh, speaking engagements where maybe you have somebody up on stage, maybe they're using a handheld microphone or a wireless microphone for the event and you wanna capture audio for them, you can just clip one of these bad boys on them. Shoot, if, if you're a speaker, this is a great way to get audio of yourself. You could literally just clip it on, put the other side in your pocket, press the record button and fortunately there's built in storage 14 hours worth of recording that you can actually put straight on the device without the need for any type of external uh, hard drive or anything like that. You can do it right on board. 15 hour battery. So again, that's gonna get you through most workshops, most conferences, you know, 15 hours is plenty. Um, it's got a magnetic attachment. I'm excited to see what that actually looks like in practice. You know, I've used the little clippy kinds. I've used the ones that you have to feed up your shirt. And a lot of times those are kind of pain in the butt. So I'm excited to see what that's about. And then the best thing is this is a charging case and it's got two, I think receivers, right? Two transmitters, one receiver, right? And what's really special about that would be you could even use this for podcasting, right? So maybe you don't wanna spend a ton of money on getting uh, traditional $400, $500 Shure SM7Bs. You know, you've got 20 bucks in you know cables, you got a $50 stand, you got a $500 interface, all of a sudden, you're starting to stack up $1,000 plus to get into the podcast world. This bad boy right here, $329 here in the US. You can pick it up on Amazon. Uh, you can get it straight from the DJI store. And so for me, I think this is a great way to get into podcasting. And especially if you're gonna add video to it. I mean, shoot, you could throw your phone on a tripod right in your office, right in your house, your living room, wherever you're doing your podcasting. Clip these on both you and your, your co-host or you and your guest and just get right after it. So let's open it up. Nice. There you go, Thank you, sir. Oh, bro, this thing's fancy. I, don't know I how love to... that thing. No, it's my favorite. All right, let's do it, man. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, ASMR. Hopefully, my fingernails aren't dirty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they won't bother to check. All right, cool. How do you close this thing up, bro? Uh, there's a little button right there. Oh, there it is. Safety first. All right, cool. Let's do it. All right, let's see how this thing opens. All right, little pull tab. If I can pull it. Ugh. All right, it says open by pulling that up. All right, great. First look, what's in the box? Let's see here. All right, we've got the, looks like, well, that's pretty small, man. All right, so there you have it. DJI at the top, pretty lightweight, but still what feels heavy duty, like it doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. So it's pretty solid, man. It's got, you know, a, kind of a carbon fiber. I don't know if you can kind of see that there, kind of texture all around it. And then you open it up. Oh, those are way smaller than I anticipated. So you see, I open it up and you can see the battery on these. That's really cool. Whoa. Touch screen, built-in chargers. These, uh, I don't I, I don't know how to explain to you how small this is. Banana for scale? I mean, there's my pinky finger. And it's about as big as my uh, my, my pinky. I wish I had like a quarter. Here's yeah. a standard beefy business card. This guy is like a th maybe a third or a fourth the size of a business card. 
That's a, that's crazy small. That's quite impressive. <laughs> and you can see right out of the gate, it's on. Like as soon as I pulled it out of the box, it tells me what the battery time's left. I have 15 and a half hours of storage. It looks like this guy here on the right might be quarter charged. The guy on the left looks like it's almost three quarter charged. And I believe that this is a touch screen. They said it was. I'll have to pull it out and take a look. But I mean that, let's see. Let's see how, how well it disappears. Oh yeah, it's a magnet. Let's see how, they say it's a magnet. Oh, there it is. Magnet. It's a strong magnet. It's a good magnet. So where would you put it, John? Would you put the this inside your shirt? I would. And then, and then the, the magnet. magnet on the outside, because then that would just be. I mean, if that is all you saw on someone, especially if you put it up under the the collar, if you mm -hmm. could. I mean, that's that's basically hidden. Completely yeah. hidden. You could almost put a button over that. And yeah. It's, there's nothing there. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, imagine too if it was closer well, to say like. It's a magnet. Yeah. That looks like a button. Like a button of my. Mm -hmm. You can hide it under your tie. That is. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm pretty impressed so far. I, I mean. I honestly didn't think they were going to be that for small. Me, this small. I mean, again, that is. That's bite size. That is impressive. So you have the magnet, but you also still do have the traditional clip you can use and what's cool too at least what it, what it looks like i mean i'm no expert i'm unboxing it for the first time so you've got a built-in microphone at the top and it also looks like you have the three and a half millimeter port so if you wanted to hook up a lav to it you could which is really good you got a usb on the side there as well as a power button and then on the right hand side it looks like you have a record button as well as like a sync button to pair it up so kind of kind of take a look at all that right there put that back in the case and then here, well, as soon as I plugged it in, it was pretty neat. As soon as you plug it in, you still get that data on the screen about kind of where it's at with the charging. Mm -hmm. Pull this guy out. Oh, dang. This thing's crazy small too, man. <laughs> like, this is it. This is it. Okay, cool. Get the business Some language, card. English, yes. Today's date, what do we got here? Yeah, you're right, a business card. Like, still. You know, again, like a third yep. of the size of the business card. And I think today's the 8th. All right. If not, May. That's the 10th. That's the 10th. 10th. I missed two days there. Well, I'll tell you this. I don't know how it's even possible, but they have the date already at May 11th. So that's pretty damn close pretty to the real close. date. Uh, I, didn't I wonder, lie. was it manufactured overseas? Possibly. Most likely. Most likely. Was. And so it's absolutely correct. Wherever it was made, it is made. But how did they know it was going to be? How did they know? I haven't connected this to the internet. That's, see, that's how you know everything's connected to the internet already. Skynet. Skynet. <laughs> so just so everyone knows, if you've never picked one of this up, I mean, obviously, again, I'm learning here on the fly. You can kind of just touch it and scroll up and down. So May 10th, 2023. If you have a camera that has a you know cold shoe, hot shoe mount, you actually slide that right on top. And then this just lives there so you can monitor your audio levels just like that while you're filming which is really amazing. And then I misspoke about these little, what I thought were just USB-C cables of some sort. These are actually phone adapters specifically for being able to use this with your phone. So that's pretty cool. You'll notice that this one right here is the iPhone cable. And you just put that in the bottom of your iPhone and that's what allows us to use the device with the phone. So pretty freaking cool. Mobile phone adapters. Again, we've got the camera audio cable, instruction man manual, the little magnetic clips, and uh, the charging cable, which is right here, this bad boy here. And then just for, for reference, John brought in our Rode Wireless Goes. So here's a Rode Wireless Go. Great, with the card. Great microphone next to the business card. About what, would you say like 50% of the business card there? Oh, easy. All right, and then I'm gonna pull out this new one here. And you can see that this guy, almost twice as wide, about the same, about the same thickness and depth. Yeah. You know, but same, roughly the same height. I think we know what to expect out of the next road release now. Oh, hundred percent quality. You know, uh, of just the way they feel in your hands. Honestly, this guy here is a little beefier, which makes sense. I mean, it's a smaller device, so you'd expect there to be a little bit more weight in something that is. They're trying to put a lot of technology into such a small, you know, footprint. Yeah. So I think that that's about the same. The feel, I, I really like the feel of the little DJI much better. Again, they've kind of using that, use that same kind of carbon fiber per se yeah. texture. I don't even know how to say it. It gives you a better grip, better on, grip it. on it. I know a lot of times when I'm filming, 
I get sweaty outside. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's nice to be able to really grip what you're holding on to. I mean, the big thing to pay attention to here too is still is like just these clips. I mean, look, that clip is so much bigger than this little clip. You know, whether you're using the magnet or not, I mean, there's no magnet for the, the Rode Wireless. So that's a, you know, that's a pretty big guy that you, you're putting on yourself, you know, especially if I use a clip, you know. Now with black, it's not terrible, but when you compare that to this tiny little magnet, you know, it's quite a bit different, and especially if I were to take that magnet off and just use the, you know, that there. I will say if there was one thing I would change about this purely from aesthetics, yeah, I think that they could have gotten rid of the branding here. And I also feel like this should have been black and not this kind of silver color, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so a couple notes there. Small, small thing, DJI, but you know, if you, you, again, I'm wearing a black shirt right now and that road branding, yes, it's big, but because it's black, it kind of gets, I don't know, it kind of gets hidden. You know, I guess the reality is not most people aren't wearing it like that. They're probably tucking it in, you know, yeah. hopefully a little bit further or whatever the case may be, putting a tie over it, something. But um, I don't know. I still I still think I like the footprint of this little guy, the DJI, a lot better. I will say one thing I don't love about the DJI, or sorry, the Road, which I think they've improved in the latest version, because I think this is an old one, if I'm not mistaken. There might be an updated version if I'm not if I'm not wrong here. But is the controls are not ultra intuitive. Like there's been a few times where I've tried to use it and I just wasn't paying attention. I hadn't used it in a while. I hadn't read the manual and I just could not figure out how to pair it up correctly. Um, I wasn't sure how to control my input levels. Like that was kind of a pain. You know, I really like that on this little guy here, we've got that touch screen. So it's really easy to make those adjustments on the fly. And as you can see, again, my levels are freaking just spectacular. That's like dialed in. I guess what we should do now, John, if you're okay with it, is let everybody hear it. we're gonna let them hear it. I'm thinking what we should do is we're gonna use an iPhone. We'll shoot the iPhone video without the microphone and then with the microphone and we'll get a real comparison of what they sound like. So this actually slides into that place. So I think, oh, this way. There's an arrow, everyone. If you're, if you're not smart like me, arrows, arrow, arrow. There we go. Push that bad boy in there. Okay, heard a clip. And I think John's gonna try to plug this into his phone. Yeah. If you want to take the phone and go ahead and yeah, plug it in. Let's give it a go. So pull that over here. And in new case. Cool. Plugged it in. Now what do we do now? We have to go back to YouTube to find out. And you go to the transmitter settings, you can see the transmitter gain. And There's so many things you can do on the screen, guys. Quiet talker, you can I don't know what I'm doing. Six, but if you are someone there we go, mono, I would just keep it at zero receiver gain, a zero like you mentioned. You go to low cut, and you can turn that so that also depends Volume on for your headphones, your settings, your transmitter settings, low cut, oh, yeah. transmitter gain, record, auto record. Vibration notifications, LED. A lot of cool stuff here. And I guess what we'll do is we'll give it a go. Yeah. So here goes nothing. I'm going to press record. All right. John, how's it going, man? It's good. Where's um, the mic at? Microphone's on me. All right. I'll let you turn this bad boy around. Okay. All right, so I've got a microphone right here, and I'm going to just clip it on. And uh, levels look good, John? Oh, yeah. Look all right? Mm -hmm. So here's the audio, hopefully with a microphone. And uh, assuming that we have got it working the way it's supposed to be working, we'll unplug it and we're gonna play, uh, we're gonna record some audio without this microphone and see what it sounds like. This is the audio, by the way, of an iPhone. What version of the iPhone is this, John? 13 Pro Max. 13 Pro Max, no wireless microphone hooked up. Uh, this is the comparison audio from our new DJI wireless mic. So let's get a let's give that a listen. And here we go again. And I'm assuming the levels are auto adjusting the gain based on my volume. I haven't done anything and you haven't changed. Anything. I haven't clipped it all or mm -hmm. which is great. It's exactly what you want to be at, especially in a podcast environment where I could go really loud and then fade back down. All right, sweet. So after listening to the audio back, it is definitely clear that the microphone whenever it's clipped onto you sounds top-notch. Uh, again, speakers out there, 
Um, it, you know, video companies, if you're looking to do events and you want to record great quality audio, somebody up on stage with that great distance, built in storage, great battery life. I mean, you can't go, you, you can't get much better than that. Especially when you think about the fact that you want to keep your, your entire rig and bag as compact as possible. I mean, this is it. That's two microphones, a recording device and a charging station all built into one. All you have to do is plug this bad boy into the wall and you're charging everything. That is pretty impressive. I, I'm a fan. John, what do you think, man? I think I'm a fan. I, I think that obviously we're gonna test it more. Yeah. We're gonna use it in a couple different settings, uh, obviously some video work. I'm really excited to try it in kind of a podcast setting where maybe you wanna do a podcast that's a little less formal without like a full microphone setup. You wanna just sit back and you know just be able to casually kind of record. What's great about this is just imagine I go to a conference and I want to record a podcast on the show floor. This is all I need. Mm-hmm. I don't even need, I mean, if I want to do video, I can take my iPhone, but I don't even have to have that. I mean, there is recording capabilities on board, which means this right here is a podcast studio in the size of your hand, in your pocket. This, I think this is a game changer. It'll be cool to see how this technology evolves over the next few years. Uh, the interface seems really intuitive. Uh, check it out. I don't have an affiliate link. I'm not trying to make any money. This is not sponsored. This is just a couple guys at Beefy Marketing doing a video to help you guys out when it comes to helping you make a decision on the kind of equipment you're gonna purchase because we buy a lot of equipment. And the reality is we spend too much money on stuff that we never use. This though, I think is something we're gonna definitely get the use out of. And with our little new five minute marketing podcast or mini series that we're going to do. You guys are really going to be able to hear this audio week in, week out. So make sure you stay in it. Stay tuned for that. It's Business Growth Hacks Podcast, available anywhere you get your shows. If you follow us here on YouTube, I'm sure you've seen our YouTube shorts as well as our full-length YouTube videos about it. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you like this video. I'm all over the place. I get it. I'm not a formal YouTuber. This is new to me. Check it out, guys. See you next time. <laughs>